Hey, Xavier Game Designers. All right, so now that we've got the enemy kind of coming after us and we're hitting it with a projectile, this is what that looks like. Here he comes. Oh, God, he's closing in. Boom, kill him. Uh, you know, that's just rudimentary just to make sure that the mechanics are working. Uh, I don't want to just have a set number of enemies on my field. I could just copy this guy a bunch of times and then have several enemies coming after me. But... Um, you know, I kind of want to have enemies that are, you know, basically respawning. As I kill enemies, there are new enemies coming to get me. That will add to the drama of the game and make it, you know, sort of like harder to survive for my player, right? Uh, so <clears throat> how do I do that? Well, I need to get some sort of an enemy spawner working on my game. So let's get the script first. Create C-sharp script. And we'll call it enemy spawner. Okay. And I'll double click on that and highlight the whole deal and replace it with my enemy spawner. Okay. We're going to make sure that public class matches our file name, right? And we'll save that. And essentially, this is uh, <clears throat> looking. For the enemies, whatever's tagged with deadly, I think my deadly in, my, in this game is a lowercase d. My enemies are tagged with deadly. And uh, spawn enemy is going to be repeatedly invoked if the amount of enemies is not equal to 5. Yeah, I'm actually going to change that to if the amount of enemies is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so once we drop below 5... Uh, you know, we're going to, or, or we get to five, we're going to start spawning new enemies. And this is how long the gap is in between the enemy spawns. So if that's not fast enough, you can change that to a float, like 0.5 or 0.2, so that they spawn very quickly as soon as the uh, amount gets below or equal to five. And then the spawn point is basically just picking a random range on our map and this is a smaller map than what I'm using now. My terrain is a thousand by a thousand. So I'm going to use my Z and my X. I'm going to use a thousand so that anywhere on the map they could be spawned. And then also, like if they spawn at one for the Y, that's great if you have a very flat map. But if your terrain is like mine, and you got mountains and stuff, you really kind of have to have these spawn a little bit higher up in the air. So just for the purposes of this lesson, I'm going to go. Oh, I don't know. Let's go 150 up in the air. They're going to just drop down like parachuters. Um, <clears throat> you know, and, and this is instantiating the enemies. It's essentially finding the spawn, the random spawn point, uh, X, Y, and Z. So this creates the X, Y, and Z of the spawn point. And then we get, uh, you know, this dropping of the enemy, instantiating of the enemy at some random point on our X and Z, but always at a Y of 150. And then this cancels the invoke, so we don't just get countless enemies spawning. Uh, so we get our invoke starts here. If our enemies drop below or equal to 5, and then we cancel that immediately and check it again. And if we need to, we start another one and then cancel it. So this is kind of turns the faucet on, and this turns the faucet off. Okay? So there's our enemy spawner. I'm going to save that, and we're going to go back into our script. And now that we have enemy spawner in our game, uh, I'm going to create, I need to, that kind of affects the whole world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty game object and just call this enemy spawner. And I'm going to take my enemy spawner script and attach it to that object. And where it says amount here, this is the initial amount of enemies that we want to populate the map. That has to be one more than what you see in the script. So where we were in the script and we saw this number here, this number here in our script needs to be one, or in our uh, inspector, needs to be at least one more. And just so we have a sense of this working, I'm going to make this 16, the amount 16, 
and this amount 15. Just so we have some more enemies, make it more interesting. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if my enemies are tagged deadly and they are not. So I'm going to do that, add tag, deadly. And then I need to apply that tag, deadly. Okay, so all good. Let me save that. Let me go over here and save my script, the changes that we made, so that our spawn point Y works. And let's take a, uh, it's updating. And what I want to do here on my scene view is I want to kind of pull back, if it'll let me. It's kind of freezing right now. There we go. I want to pull back just so I can kind of see these enemies sort of coming and populating the map. There's my little speck of an enemy there in the distance. And then here I'm going to, you know, start playing. And what you're going to look for is see that all of my enemies are going to start spawning and filling in this inspector. Clones of the enemy will show up here. And as I start killing them, uh, we want to see new ones populate that list. So here we go. Let's test it out. Right, I'm backing up, and you can see there in the distance some of these enemies starting to fall from the sky. There they are. And right, I'm just going to get rid of this guy so he's not such a threat. Oh, yeah, here they come. They're all dropping down. Maybe 200 was a little too much on the Y, but you can see the shadows. Oh, man, they're coming. You know, I, I don't know if I put... Uh, Oh wow, they're coming at me while they're while they're in the air. They're seeking me in the sky. Oh, this is this ought to be good. As I move this way, I'll turn around and we'll see what's following me as they're dropping from the sky. Two hundred was clearly way too much, right? So I have to. Oh gosh, there's one right. Oh man, <laughs> that was kind of scary. So the. The five is, is plenty. Let me start shooting some of these. You can see why I don't play a lot of video games. And there's some more, more in the distance showing up. And as we look at our enemies over here, we'll see that there are definitely, uh, you know, plenty of them. The next thing we need to do is get these bullets so that they don't just stay on the map. You see how they're all in our hierarchy? There's too many bullets. We need them to disappear once they once we fire them, you know? Maybe create sort of a range for our bullets so that they can't go quite so far. You know, it's kind of cool that they have gravity and you can try to lob them at the objects in the distance. Definitely need to kind of figure out the why on these. The why is two. Why is... Oh, jeez. Oh, that scared me. Okay. So this seems to be working. Good job. I hope you got your enemy spawner working, too. Oh, squares everywhere. Stop. Stop following me. Okay. Have fun. Enjoy your enemy spawner.